Anyone else? Okay, is Thank that you. it? Thank you very much. <laughs> Bravo. Uh, before we move on, just a short note, please, for everyone going to Rijeka, just uh, sign up uh, to the info desk as soon as possible because they have to know how many people are going to Rijeka and the places are limited. So we're moving on to Mr. Radovan Bacovic, senior data engineer at GitLab. Uh, he's going to steal your knowledge and talk about transparency, transparency as a mode to persist in a data world. He will wrap the topics and guide you through why transparency is an organic way to communicate and cooperate, how to stay secure when you share everything or almost everything with the outer world, how to leverage your data usage and still stay a good boy of the IT world, and what you should promise to your community. Let's see. Good afternoon, everyone. Just to correct the user here, I will ask you to steal our knowledge. Two days ago, on this conference, I performed the DBT tutorial, and it was great, at least for me. And one of my friends, I think he's here, he asked me, everything was cool, Radovan, but you 15 times said this was cool, because I really like DBT. And of course, I would say, you were cool, and this conference by itself is so cool. What I want to try to sell to you, or to perform you, is about brutal transparency approach in our company where I'm working, and it's called GitLab. But let me scare you first. You know all this demon about data breaches, it's just a question of time, what will happen? Reputation damage, if something is get wrong, if there is leakage of the data, stealing of your knowledge, your assets, code leakage, other stuff, GDPR, compliance, and large fines. This sounds creepy probably, and I think it is, so do not laugh. It can happen to you, 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 and you. As I said, it's just a question of time, in my humble opinion. So do not laugh, it's more serious. I'm coming from GitLab, our company, and let's say a few words about us. Why I think, or why you think we are so, so unique? Other websites and sources said we are the probably, just to be on the safe side, the most transparent company in the world. You will see a couple of nice, fancy, shiny titles about us. And I want to explain why we are so, so transparent. We have a total, I would say, brutal, transparent operational model. It's so, so transparent, it can be so scary, not only stealing your information. We are all remote with zero offices from the beginning. So an office is no problem for us. And still, probably, we are the biggest all remote company in the world. Why this is important, I will show you. Also, we advocate for async way of work and remote operational model from the beginning for all team members. We are a global leader in distributed work, and as I said, we often strongly advocate to do everything asynchronously and in remote fashion. What we are doing, there is some purpose, and of course, it is about the product. Before, probably last year, I said it's a DevOps product delivered, na na na. But these days, we are so modern and we provide a DevSecOps platform can help you and support you to do the entire life cycle of your nice and fancy popular software products. Let's innovate together. You know this infinite loop, it's very popular these days, and we cover development part, security and compliance part, along with operational part. So, I don't know, do you know a joke about the infinite loop? When number eight come to the shrink and shrink said, okay, lay down the therapy, and number eight said, no, we will never finish. So this is our infinite loop, support DevSecOps. 10 stages, actually, what we are doing and what our product can do for you, with very nice long description. As I said, usually, if you're a lazy guy as me, just 10 iconic stages, what we are doing in a nutshell. No intention to kill by PowerPoints, want to provide several, let's say, numbers you should consider or maybe be inspired for your company. All remote from the beginning, zero office is zero problem for us. We build our operational and transparent model because of this. We are working around the globe and we need a different model than typical company going in co-located or office environment. 
1,600 plus team members around the globe. As of now, 65 countries and regions. Unfortunately, we are impacted by these layoffs. As you can see, I survived, but still, we are doing a cool stuff. Very proud of these numbers, 13 million plus registered users for small hot startups through enterprises, NGO, government organizations, academia, etc. For 134 times each 20 seconds of the each month for more than 11 years now, we released the nice new features of our product. No exceptions, no delays, no exclusion, you know what to expect. If your user or you just like or want to try GitLab product, check next day, 23rd, it will be new cool features. A plenty of things will come soon. Our handbook is probably a rising star because as I said, we are doing one thing and probably we are doing that good, but people often ask me, or no one ask me, right? About what the handbook is. That's our core of transparency. Officially 2,000 web page of text and officially probably three, four times more how we drive our business, how we are doing the things. And we are talking about stealing that knowledge there. It's for you. How typical normal company expose the data or hide the data? I don't know. They hide everything. But typical way for us, for GitLab, is how we expose everything or almost everything to outer world is going in X direction. It's crucial to define the mission values and set of sub values. Why? Because you create a pattern of behavior and desired behavior. And also when you want to attract the people, they know what to expect. You know what to expect. In our case, it's fairly easy to remember. And it stands for collaboration, results, efficiency, diversity, in, along with inclusion and belonging, iterate or iteration and transparency. That's why we are here today. Boom where you want to create the building blocks and fundament to driving our business in a transparent way, fundament is collaboration, diversity and inclusion and belonging, and efficiency. Next floor is about iteration and transparency and probably we are most known in the community because of those two values. As a result of these building blocks, you will have results and this pyramid will push you forward to do your business in a proper way. I want to consider or reconsider two aspects of transparency or total transparency, what we strive for in our company. And first one is security aspect. Boom. Alignment with this value transparency will, or we think it will lead us to be best around the globe in business today. So we want to be total transparent and secure organization. What does it mean? We want to expose everything to the outer world, but still to stay say, safe and do not have any kind of leakage. Now, we are not startup anymore. October 2021 was crucial for us. We had IPO and we are now a public company. But still, we strongly believe this value of transparency will lead us to the global leader in the business. We are open to our team members, to our organization, to customers, 30 million plus, you remember, and to our community. I would say and can admit we have a very good, strong relation, two-way street with our open source community, as we are open core and open source by default, organically. So we consider this security aspect to respect these four items here. Of course, some exceptions here, what not to expose, can be also handy for your company. The list is quite long, but usually it's coming with security something or something security. Long story short, you will not expose any financial data, any predictions, metrics, audit reports, security OKR or security KPIs, penetrations test, any vulnerability, etc. Second aspect, also very, very vital for us, is community aspect. As I said, probably people consider us as a good guy of IT world, and I think we are, and also want to expose many details as possible with you. Still, we believe even as a public company, transparency is key for our success to be a global leader. What we want to do, we want to provide as much as possible information and open it to the outer world so we can have a quicker and better collaboration and communication, not only inside GitLab organization or company, but also with a wider audience, let's say like that. 
So this is what community aspects should cover. We are not talking about transparency because of transparency here or only about our handbook. You will find the fine tuning and layering why this is important, not only for us, but maybe for your business. We ignite and extend the awareness of our brand and organization with our transparency. If you have any problem, maybe we have a solution. It's for free. It's for you to take it there and check it. Also, you will attract and recruit people like us already working in GitLab. Why? Everything is nicely exposed there already up front. You know what to expect. You know the drill. You apply for the job. You rock on your interview process. You sign the contract and you're hired. And then you know this meme with two spy same Spider-Man. They said you lie about your CV. No, you lie about job description, right? We want to get rid of this and be more, let's say, sincere about who we want to hire and what kind of people want to be a role model for our company. And of course, everything is, with, is going with the communication and collaboration process. When you stir everything and all items on the plate, you can easily and quickly get feedback from your customers and from your community. All the time I'm talking about community, open source is super important for us and for the business. This circle nicely explains how we stick or how we respect the community aspect. Heart of business, open core and open source. In my humble opinion, open core means how to monetize the open source things. Our product is open source. We created software, we documented literally everything, we exposed the examples, and then we have a lot of lessons learned from our failures. And to make it better and better and better, we create a set of process. And then again and again, work is never done. Why? Because, though, because strongly believe this circle brings more to us than it captures. What you have if you respect or you go for community aspect of transparency, you can be very brutally direct to everyone. Everything is written down. Just be honest and put everything in your single repo where you can expose all items of the business. You can change your mind, and that's okay. You can fail, which is also okay. You should try something new, which is also good. But it's not a problem, very open and transparent. We had a situation where our complete platform, complete product failed and didn't work for an hour. And what we did in that case, we streamed our support and folks fixing the problem live on YouTube. I don't know is it something regular or not, but it was so cool because we increase the trustness from our community. We really try to fix the problem and they trust us. So if you fail, if you change your mind, no one cares, but it's documented somewhere. You can create a very constructive discussion outside and inside the company. It will force you to be better and better every bloody day. Of course, it's more valuable if you continue to do because there are costs. If you want to hide something, you can imagine, I want to hide this kind of information. I need fully new support security layer around that what I want to hide. I need new folks, I need a team, I need a license, I need the protection, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Probably managers will like this. It's cheaper to be open than closed. This is the vital stuff. You remember our GitLab handbook, and it's our single source of truth. Long story short, very, very short. Single source of truth is what each company needs. You have it or not, but I think you should have it, or at least you should start to create it. How? I will show you. 21st century, for the case started, probably you don't need more than a few seconds to find everything you need. Forget about emails, generate separate documents in your favorite editor, go here and there, Jira, Confluence, GitLab, Microsoft, no, no, no. You should be able to find everything you need in a second. Of course, when we try to document something, we are talking about what I'm doing and how I am doing that, which is cool. But vital thing here is to say why, not just what. This sounds as a fancy title of some <laughs> modern book about self-help, but it's not. Why, why why is important? Because it provides a full context to each team member, each community member to understand the entire story. Without why, it's just what and how. It's a technical stuff. 
And of course, in your code, in your article, you can easily discover what I'm doing and how I'm implementing that. But why and my motivation for that should be part of your DNA and your handbook or single source of truth. You, you are able to reproduce the issue because each step is there and it's open. There is no hidden agenda. So you can easily track back and reproduce the issue or situation you need. In GitLab, we have something called transparency competency and it's great from five to 13, the bigger the better in this case. How likely is team member competent and transparent and how stick with that value in the company? I think I'm transparent, I'm here on the stage, try to share my knowledge or our knowledge with you, and I'll think that's okay. And that's cool, as my friend like to say. To stay on the bright side and do not have any kind of leakage, we created something called SAFE framework. Name is cool, name is acronym. In my country, I'm coming from Serbia, we have a very funny framework how to deal with the problem going on. First stage is, I don't care. <laughs> and second stage is, oh God, probably it will not impact me. And first stage is, yeah, bigger. I can't do anything about that. Luckily for us, we are using a different approach. It's called SAFE framework. Stands for sensitive, accurate, finance, and effect. This exercise and this algorithm help us to determine by ourselves, is it okay to share something, publish something or not? And it's a good mental exercise for me, because without pinging my manager or anyone in the organization, you can think about security department, you can be manager to determine what to publish or not. Let's do it together. Do you want to publish sensitive information or not? No, it's fine. Okay, let's move forward. Otherwise, ah, it's not going to happen. Is your information accurate? You can guarantee and you can verify that's true or not. Yes, let's go forward. First step, there is forbidden to share financial data, met metrics, and prediction. Very simple. There is no finance data. Let's go to the last step. Can your publishment or data or set of data statement can harm any part of your business, team members, customer, member of a community, anyone? No. Then it's safe to share. So this is our data flow, workflow, how we share something. As I said, literally, we're sharing everything or almost everything, but this is a good mechanism to prevent any kind of leakage upfront as much as possible. So safe framework is here to save us. Our rising star, and probably unofficially the second best product, is our GitLab handbook. It's generated by us, team members and members of community. What is this and why this is important for you for me, and why it's good to have it. Because it's central repo and DNA of your business and how you drive your business. Mainly when I'm talking about my product, it's hard not to touch story about the handbook. And everything is 100% open to the world. Of course, we have something internally which is forbidden. We also, also talk about that and mention that. Consider this as a single source of truth. Everything you should need to drive your business is there. Let's say you have a small, hot startup, you succeed, you need more team members, what you should do? You have no budget to hire a HR agency to do some things for you, or you want to ping your friend. You can go to our handbook and type GitLab handbook in your favorite browser, how to hire engineers. You will see junior, mid-year, senior engineers, what skill set are necessarily, what the job grades are, what is the salary range per country, any details can actually serve for your purpose to hire new folks. Even better, your business explodes. You have 200 people, 300 people. You have plenty of data. You don't know what to do with that. And you need a data team. If you ping me or some other folks, probably will charge you. What you can do as an alternative, you can go to our handbook, GitLab data team handbook. You will see how to establish a successful, probably, data team. What positions are needed for your business? What grades are? What is the criteria for promotion? And actually, what pro projects we are doing, along with fully explained technical stuff. You have a new project, you don't know how to start, maybe you want to be inspired, go in our handbook. Really worth to go there. Couple of facts, why this is important. As a team scales, you need documentation. Luckily, from day one, when Gintelab is established, our establisher created a handbook. That was the first commit. 
and it's much more costly option if you do not invest in that and you have nothing. That can be a problem. Of course, if you want to start today, how to do that? An ideal time for that is day one of establishing your company. Probably the second best day is yesterday, as usually in IT world. And best time, third best time is today. Or when this conference finish, right? There is a party after, if I'm not wrong. How GitLab nicely focuses and forces us to be very handbook first and very, very proactive. After three months, they delete everything from Slack. We use Slack as a primary way of communication. We have no emails. I mean, we have it, but we don't need it. And everything disappears after 90 days. So that approach forces you to put and document everything and to be very disciplined and keep the hygiene to put everything in the proper place. It's never done. Your business is never done because if your business is done, then your company is done. Everything is all the time in progress. Where we are discussing about format or technical implementation, what you want to have, we think, and our common belief is, Wiki can scale, but we think it can't scale. The problematic is if you put more information there. For technical implementation of our handbook, we use a typical website approach with pages, folder, and markdowns there. So that format scales to us and also for some other companies. Of course, you know how it's going when it comes to documentation. I don't like it, no one likes it, but you need to do that and work should be done. How you should empower the entire team and each team member to contribute to the handbook? If you have nothing, let's say. You can imagine you have 100, 200 folks, five folks in your company, and even each team member put one or two sentences and iterate on that. You remember our values, iteration and iterate, and go with short toes. After one, two months, you will have plenty of pages and more than enough material to drive your business and have your single source of truth. There's some more laziness option, but we'll talk about that a bit later. Then what to put in handbook, everything around, or about your company, building blocks of your business, secret sauce of your business, everything about groups and departments and day-to-day -day operations. That is what you should put there, literally everything about the business. And boom, make it public as we did, so share the knowledge. Then regarding the community, as I said, a strong, good relation, that is what we think, is what you should promise regarding the transparency to community and to get feedback from community. We said, we will not share any of your data with us to counterfeit, fit, misuse the data, use it in a wrong way, have a kind of potential data leakage, or with any third party. In other words, we will not sell your data. You can pick some other companies, but as I said, we are still on the right track. This is important because we desperately need the customer data or data from customer, but without chance to identify that customer or to provide any kind of harmful measures, actions or effects to them. In that case, this is our first promise. You are safe with us. As I said, 30 million plus registered customer and they're pretty much safe, I would say. Recap how to steal our knowledge in three steps, and there is four fourth one. Check our handbook, easy to search, fork it, adjust it for your needs, and enjoy. It will be much easier to drive your business to success. Of course, before we close and have some takeaways, what questions do you have for me? I think we have some questions, or is it allowed? There is one here. Uh, okay, so in one of the slides, you've mentioned that um, metrics and predictions are not safe. Uh, I wanted to ask why is that the case? Because aren't metrics one of the core uh, in transparency of analytics? And can you point out of case uh, when that was a drawback? There was a drawback because anything regarding the business you want to expose and can be harmful for your company by itself or can create any kind of damage. It's 
legal reason you can't share that you have a stakeholders you have a shareholders etc so by default it's not forbidden because we are a public company any kind of predictions and results can put a damage against competitor on the market can be the case what can, case i can give you how much active monthly users you have in the last six months are you growing are you going down i said we have number of users 30 plus million that's a public information i'm able to share that because that information is safe there is no harm it's not a finance information there is no i would say anything about security so that's okay but something is important for our business we we should hide unfortunately before it was more flexible because we were startup so we can share anything we want but now we have a different legal leg executive and law regulatory about that so it's not only about us, right? We have a good will, but it's forbidden. So does it answer your question? Cool, thanks. Right, so, so first I want to say, basically what GitLab did is unprecedented. Like one of the most amazing things I've ever seen, honestly, with, with the handbook and everything. Uh, so my first question is basically, you said that there was a situation when you actually streamed, the, the, when you experienced some outage, right? And you yes. wanted to stream and whatever. Does it, and how much of the burden does it actually put on people who might not feel comfortable sharing, you know, like uh, everything? That's how, that's our operational model. That's a, let's say, edge case of example, how you should, how we transparently are. And you record everything in real time on YouTube or any other platform, you, you, you name it. And the, I would say the main catch for that is you should build a trust, even if it's a bad situation, no one likes it, you know. <laughs> Night can be so long, I know that. But somehow in that case, you build a trust and you get feedback from community. Yeah, these guys are doing a great job. She, life happens every day, but that is what it is, and I know they will fix it. So really, I trust their product and trust that cool support team, they will fix the issue. So I would say probably that's the catch in my opinion. Cool. And I have one more, if possible. Yes, I'm just I'm just curious, what is if there is any uh, like the biggest challenge that you faced with this culture? All depends. I would say this type of culture is not for everyone. So let's start. Fully remote, asynchronously. If you're working for a US company, usually you should work second shift or overlapping the hours. It's not the case for us. The biggest challenge can be if you're not the perfect fit for the company and somehow you jump there. I am a remote veteran, so for me it was kind of leveling up because we embrace that asynchronous culture, which is cool. Meetings are not mandatory, <laughs> which is also great. If you don't want to be there, don't be there. So actually, we discard the eight hours working time during day, nine to five or something like that. You will have something called unlinear working day. It means you will work when you want, and you, are, you have and produce your maximum. So you reconcile time and energy management, you reconcile your family life. Our motto is family comes first, everything else is second, which is cool and which is true. But I would say biggest challenge is if you're not self-driving person or you don't like autonomy, you're waiting for directions. We have something called a manager of fun. Of course, it's hard to cover all things, but actually you are a manager of fun you will determine what you work on, how to work, how to get results. And you have values, you should sit with that. And sub values help you a lot to go in the proper direction. Sounds good? Thank you. I think, yeah? You said that you get a lot back from the community. Uh, I get that you're like GitLab, uh, trusted brand, a lot of people are interested in you, but what I have my company 7658 and nobody is trusted in what I'm sharing. I'll get nothing from the community back by, by sharing. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? So sorry, what was the question? Can you rephrase? Uh, like my assumption is that you get a lot back from the community because you're a, a big brand. Like a lot of people tend to follow you. But if I have a small company that doesn't have a recognized brand, will I get something back from the community by being open and sharing? I would say yes, probably it's up at the model. Yeah, to be honest, 
we have a strong brand and strong awareness because of that transparency. And people trust us, as you said, if you're a user or not, doesn't matter, but you will get something back because, yeah, you're popular and people recognize you. If you're a smaller company, somehow probably you, you, need, you need to promote yourself in a good way, in community, share what you have and be persistent. And I said, usually in life, you need to be persistent and don't give up. Of course, but do it in a smart way. Do not do the same things again and again. How I can see this from my experience, there are a lot of Slack channels, a lot of portals, a lot of chances and opportunities to expose yourself and what you're doing. That spread the world, be part of that community, contribute somehow, and it will get back. Not today, not tomorrow, but maybe in the long run. We're all different, of course. There is a different way how you get to reach your goal. As I said, it's much easier for us. We are a recognized brand. And yeah, there are plenty of markets and plenty of options and smaller companies are doing that. And it's so, so difficult because everyone now is on the internet. It's not exclusive right, it's common right. And then try to be more and more part of that community until you get back. And talk, 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 talk in many ways. Hope it's okay. Thank you. Of course, we're running out of time. I will be around for any additional question from you. Takeaways, very quickly, open core and open source. That's our operational model to full, brutal transparency and create the good, transparent working environment. As you can notify, probably we are short term, very critical to each other, to ourselves, long run, we are so, so optimistic. This criticism will lead us to win the game at the end of the day. It's organic way to communicate, and everything is about communication, and to cooperate. Stay secure, expose as much as possible, and what is allowed, and then less things can be pocketed. Single source of truth is what you need for a better transparency. Everything should be written somewhere. If it's one place, it's a perfect. Key promises to your community. It's fairly easy to reuse the knowledge and experience you're not the first person in the world who has that kind of problem, probably, 99% of the time. And you can think of GitLab way. How we are doing that, adjust it for your needs. This is me. Let's be transparent. Feel free to ping me, blame me, put some nice words. I'm always, always open to discussion. So I would say, this is cool. You are cool. Party will be cool. And thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon. <laughs>